everybody, thank you. Welcome, welcome to Reddit's World. Today our topic is about changing. Yes, I am changing every day, every second. I'm continuously improving myself, my mind, my body, my soul, and my wealth. You know, that shit don't matter. Is that not at all? That's the least thing that matters. And if you're the same person as you were in kindergarten, high school, elementary, then you're doing nothing with your life, straight up, as honest as I can be. And you're getting mad at everybody else for changing and improving just because somebody wants to improve their life doesn't mean y'all can go hate on everybody doesn't mean y'all can just bring them down and hate and say all these things and demean them and make them into a monster just because they improving themselves just because they work so hard because they disciplined they got a backbone they got culture but nah y'all not used to that shit y'all don't have no backbone no culture so all y'all gonna do is hate straight up and if someone's changing and making progress what's the first thing y'all gonna do oh i'm gonna hate that motherfucker I'm gonna take him out so he can't be better than me instead of getting better yourself. But nah, y'all rather just hate. It's easy to hate. I mean, who cares? Oh, I hate that car. Psh, easy. That's, I'd rather just do that than actually go work for it and get that fucking car. So, yes, if you're changing, thank you. Continuously change and improve every second of every day. And if you're not, then psh, just go sit in that corner. Like that person that was just yelling, yeah, go sit next to that person. Because that person ain't doing nothing but living off wherever they're living off of. Straight up, just like the rest of these houses in the Hollywood Hills. Ain't nobody, man, there's only like 10 people out here really paying for all this shit. Everybody else is grandfathers or grandkids and kids and this and that, nieces and nephews. It's money from, from family, you know, generation on generation. This ain't their money. This ain't, man, this is like 10 generations old. This ain't, this ain't none of theirs. Man, they just phonies. They straight up phonies out here. Just like the rest of the world. None of this shit matters, man. None of this shit matters. None of this. We made it all up. We only made it up because we had nothing to do. We were tired of hunting and killing things. We are like, okay, let's make up a new game and take, and let's play by these rules because this way we can always have control. For what? Welcome back. Today we have Miss Tammy and Samuel. So, what is real to you guys? God. God. Well, to me, like the real thing for me, like I believe in that guy is real. God. All right, guys. Welcome back. Today we have Mr. Renee. What's going on? <laughs> Thank you for joining us. All right. So, so, what is real to you? What is real to me? Um, what real is to me is. Alright guys, welcome back. Today we have Mr. Brian! Yes, sir. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much. Like, you can see around, around things. Pretty much like he created the whole thing and then we're like an image of him and then the only way like we can be saved is believing in him and that's the only way to heaven there's not there's not there's not other religions that can save us humans <laughs> <laughs> <Being alive. laughs> that's probably real that's simple as that that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> you so much. Jeff, can you take care of him, People created many religions, and they don't want like they don't have those religions for one thing. They, they don't see the whole thing. Like pretty, pretty much like things. Like a lot of people say like Christians are, are religious, but they're not. It's, it's like communication. Like I was having like a friend to him, like talk to talk with him, and then. Anything else? Well, um, I've been having hard times. I've been taking a licking, but my Lord and Savior Jesus, I keep on. He's been keeping me ticking.
tell, express everything that you know, like if you have any problems or things that you're going to life, just like tell me he will understand you because he was the one who who brought you brought you to earth. Our WCW is Miss Lubna Alaya. She is one of the most richest and most influential women in the world. And she is from Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia and other traditional Muslim countries are very tough for women to do anything in. They literally can't even walk outside unless they're escorted by men. So she broke records when she spoke at a major keynote for Saudi Arabia. She was the first woman to ever do that. And this is a great progress for women in third world countries that have a lot of struggles like these. Where they can't really go out or do anything by themselves or they can't do nothing. Really, literally, they just gotta be at home and just cook and be cleaning. Literally. So thank you Ms. Lubna for being so influential and getting your business done and opening this world up and getting you more open minded to more diverse businessmen, entrepreneurs in this world. Women, men, kids, everybody. So thank you. So I'd like to give a shout out to all of our guests and participants. We really appreciate it. Everybody have a great weekend. See you guys on Monday. And one last thing. I don't want the itches. I want the riches. Yeah, yeah. King Sham. Sacrifice. I know you feel me. I'ma stay down till it's over with I'ma come back when it's over with I'ma get prayed with it over with Got my first pound, it was over with And try put me over, then it's over with I fuck her, then leave when it's over with She gave me the pussy, now it's over with She told me her friend, it's over with I told her the crib, now it's over with Trap a valley till it's over with I'ma stay down till it's over with Over with, I'ma stay down till it's over with Yeah, yeah I paid out my homage and kept a little change Strapped with the 40, I don't fuck with lanes I bought me a pistol before the bomb man. Been on my grind before the hook came Dead like my uncle with this in the attic The twerk put me down, my drugs in the attic My wheel like lettuce, I'm serving them salad My life ain't no pellets, I had to get at it Lost my daddy, it was fucking tragic Shoot you down with an automatic Hunt you down, let my dog get at it I'm a fucking savage, black and tatted over with, I'ma stay down till it's over with. I'ma come back when it's over with. I'ma get prayed when it's over with. Got my first pound, it was over with. And try put me over, then it's over with. I fuck her, then leave when it's over with. She gave me the pussy, now it's over with. She told me her friend, it's over with. I told her the crib, now it's over with. Trap a valley till it's over with. I'ma stay down till it's over with. Over with, I'ma stay down till it's over with. Yeah, yeah.